I'm Alice Fry, um, we're at the Sculpture Lounge in West Yorkshire, near Home Firth, just north of the Peak District, um, and I'm a jeweller and silversmith, so I make um, silverware and jewellery uh, inspired by crystals, minerals, um, and, um, and all sorts of wonderful geological <laughs> um, inspiration. Yeah. I'm inspired by geology, so from crystals, uh, minerals, um, uh, geometric shapes, sort of the contrast between the geometric lines and the flat surfaces and then the sort of organic textures and patterns that um, nature gives us. I use silver primarily and then I also feature niobium in my work, so this is similar to titanium. Um, so you get these refractory colours, um, which are actually the structural colourisation. So they're kind of an optical illusion and you get quite a big range. It creates um, an oxide layer on the surface when you anodise it. Um, and then these colours are actually quite iridescent. So they sort of play about in the light and, and dance in the light. So I'm one of a handful of jewellers uh, in the UK uh, using niobium um, and uh, there's not many people that specialise in anodising which is the technique to create the colour. Uh, it's an electrolytic process and I've done a lot of research um, into it and my university um, at the Glasgow School of Art had a research paper from the 1970s which formed a lot of the research for my work um, and it was used back in the 70s in jewellery um, but I'm one of the very few remaining people uh, actually using it and one of the only ones in the world really, there's, there's not many other jewellers in the world that, that use niobium. So it was sort of new in the 60s and 70s um, in, in jewellery and it was, it was, there was a lot of research done into it then but because of the really unique and specific uh, ways you can use it so you have to cold work it rather than you can't use a torch on it it means that it wasn't quite so, I just want to say mainstream um, and I think that it, it, you know, you, I use it in a very specific way so all, because my work's inspired by gemstones I'm able to work with it a bit like a gemstone so once I've made the niobium I then set it in the silver um, but it's, 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 it's not that new, it's not ancient but it's not uh, really old either. I make beakers, spoons, uh, bowls, uh, that's the sort of silverware side, also boxes and the boxes pair really nicely with the, the jewellery so I've made um, work where the, the box lid becomes a brooch, a wearable brooch um, and uh, all my, my work is quite sculptural so earrings and brooches are really good ways of sort of wearing art really um, so that I tend to do earrings and brooches that work alongside my silverware. So professionally, I have been doing it the last three years. Um, I did four, a four-year course at the Glasgow School of Art. It was silversmithing and jewellery design. Then a one-year specific course in the countryside called Bishop's Land uh, near Reading. Um, and that was for jewellery and silversmithing. And then since then, in 2021, I, I've been uh, making uh, and selling my work at exhibitions like at Goldsmiths Fair in London. I've got a, an online shop as well. There is the, the Goldsmiths Craft and Design Council Awards, uh, which is an annual uh, competition. It's run by the Worshipful Company of Goldsmiths, um, and it's a jewellery, uh, industry wide jewellery and silversmithing competition with different categories. So, I've had a few pieces that have entered over the years that have won several awards. So, most recently, um, I've got a big piece that's won four awards a gold, a silver, and two bronzes at the Goldsmiths Craft and Design Council Awards. I am absolutely ecstatic. I think I've found my way really, and I feel like I work really innately with metal. It seem, I seem to be able to uh, you know, work with it without even thinking as well. And I think to have industry recognition shows that actually I, I can you know, do this and, uh, and I've got to the point where I wanted to be when I set out. I am um, 25 and I basically went straight from school into university and since then I've been working flat out um, but also the, the, the older generation are really amazing and, and help you know people like me so I've just completed uh, the South House Silver Workshop Trust Scholarship uh, which is where master silversmiths train people like me um, and so I did four, four months worth of work with with three different um, makers and that was you know invaluable so that even though I'm fairly young I've been, had a lot of help in, in, from the older generation who were just brilliant, it's like a family.